my funny and memorable driving test here in Australia. Hello guys, hope you are all doing well. Today I am gonna share with you my experience in getting my driver's license. But before we proceed to that, with regards to my partner visa, we are still waiting for it. But of course, while waiting, as a privilege, you can apply already for your Medicare or Medicare tax number and you can even drive using your overseas driver's license and later on pass all the driving tests. Well, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please consider subscribing to my channel. To share with you my story in getting the license, it just said that I don't have the video of it because honestly using mobile phone while driving is not allowed. So taking the video is strictly prohibited here in Australia. I am already driving overseas. I worked in Doha, Qatar for 13 years, but just later of year 2019 only, I got my driver's license there. And I don't drive much because my workplace was just three minutes away from my home and not used to always go out. To make it short, I'm not exposed much into driving really. And I don't even drive to Philippines every time I'm in vacation. What's good with my overseas license, it helps me to obtain my Philippine driving license automatically last time. Um, we just have to go to LTO and show your card overseas. For your awareness in Australia, the steering wheel in vehicles are on the right hand side. So I did a lot of road adjustments every time. I have to think of the road. I always saying to myself, keep left as a reminder. Well, here, my overseas license is not recognized, but they will consider it and want to pass the practical driving test. It can be automatically upgraded also to open license without undergoing to P1 and P2 or the provisional license. So you have to go to a transportation office to enroll for online module and test before you will get the learner license. There are different modules that you need to pass, including hazard tests, before you can actually book your practical driving test. The hazard test is more of online virtual driving that you need to judge your actions if you're going to slow or stop, turn right or turn left, and so on. Here in, Australia, here in Australia, before you can get your open license, there are years to complete. So you have to start with L or learner license until you are at least 17 years of age and met the logbook requirements that consist of 100 hours to complete before you can take your practical driving test. Then once you pass the practical driving test, you will go to provisional. Two types of provisional license, there are P1 and P2. P1 is your first provisional license before you move on to P2. I guess of a one year for P1 and two years for P2 before you move into open license. The reason why they have P1 and P2 is you are bound for some driving conditions and restrictions before you go to full open license. Some of it like not allowed to use mobile phone while driving. You cannot drive with more than one passenger and of course, you can't drive under the influence of alcohol or illegal drugs. Well, here it is. On my practical driving test, just a quick tip that you must know that uses, I mean, the uses of your car dashboard as it's actually part of the test. I actually passed my practical driving test on my fourth attempt. Here it goes. I failed to first attempt by not following the assigned road speed limit. When I was in Qatar on my first attempt, I passed my test. I'm not sure about it because there are because there, as long as you can show the police assessor that you are confident in your speed limit, you will pass. But you will pass. But not the case here in Australia. It's against the law, and you will fail by exceeding speed limit. Second attempt failed by not stopping on the stop sign. I'm very honest to this. I actually didn't notice the stop signage on my left when the assessor told me to turn left. And when you say stop sign, meaning you have to make a full stop as in. Third attempt failed, but not by not stopping before the pedestrian. On my case, it's just a wrong timing. 
that someone on the right, sa right side of the road trying to cross the pedestrian. Here, once you see someone on both ends of the pedestrian, meaning you have to slow and stop to give way. But actually, if no one was there before I maybe pass on my third attempt. Here, here in Australia, practical driving test usually takes 30 minutes before the assessor will give his final assessment to you. If you pass or you will fail. Well, the funny thing is that my first, my third, my fourth attempt, only the same person or assessor I had. Given I honestly changed my location for driving tests, just not to be on that assessor because he's always failing me. But at the end, he's actually made me pass my practical driving test. One tip I'll share with you because it helps me a lot. But of course, it always depends on how you learn and be able to apply it. I honestly use an index card or illustration and I'm still in my and still in my mind what I wrote and I always remember also the previous failed mistakes I did before so it's like a motivation to me I know you find it crazy but if you are you are a superstitious person you will believe me what I'm saying I even wear a red color shirt on the day of my practical driving test in which I didn't do before. From my first, my third attempt, I used to wear green. And I don't know about it, but it works. Well, I am so happy and grateful because I'll be able to drive to work because having your own car is a necessity. Otherwise, you will have to wait for Uber for more than one hour. Lucky if it arrives in 15 minutes. There is an alternative taxi, but costly around $20 higher than Uber because different cities and locations will vary if you are in the major cities. Yes, taxes are always available, but not in the country place like ours. Hope guys, my little experience shared to you helps a lot. Please support my channel and see you later.